guys that get a lot of credit is Steve Blackman uh, for muscular development. I mean, those guys have done an extraordinary job for years and years and years to promote health, to promote fitness, to mo promote strength, to promote bodybuilding, powerlifting, weightlifting, and all of those kind of things. So the contributions they made is gigantic, and I hail them for that. Sean Ray from MusterDevelopment.com. I'm with Josh Lenarkowitz, our local Australian. We're at the Arnold Classic, the third annual here in Melbourne, Australia. Josh, unfortunately, is not in it. Nope. And you can talk to your fans, tell them what's up. Um, yeah, uh, sorry to everyone that was looking forward to seeing me on stage the last couple of weeks. We've had, um, had a, a, a passing away in our family, so that was very hard on us. So um, if I can't be there for family, who can I be there for? And um, I'd like them to be there for me, so it's I hope anyone out there would do the same thing too. Absolutely. So, unfortunately, so that's what happened. They want to know where are they going to see you next on stage. We're going to talk about that next week. Okay, so you're still making up your mind. Yeah. Gonna, will we see you trying to get to the Olympia, yeah. you think? Yeah. Sometime yeah. in 2017? Yes, yes we will. What did you think about Brandon Curry last week upsetting Dallas McCarver? Man, that was, that was crazy. Where did that come from? Shows anything can happen in bodybuilding, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Brandon looked awesome. Well, last year you did a lot of competitions. This year has been a kind of a slow run up. You, you were actually trying to compete for this one, right? Yeah, well, was, yeah, I got ready. I was probably about three weeks out, four weeks out of it, and then um, yeah, had all yeah, bad news. So. You got to deal with the family. So here we are. This is the third annual, and right uh, here. first day, Friday. Yes. Uh, obviously, the favorites again, the rubber match with Brandon Curry and Dallas McCarver, and uh, Juan Morel couldn't make it. He had some visa issues. Yeah. But uh, big match Charles is here. Yeah. Any surprises you think could happen? Did Dallas didn't pull this one out? Yeah, you know what? Dallas is looking great and he's um he's working with Chad and then fixing up some issues, I know that. Um, so to come in a bit fuller, which I think Dallas will look better in as well. But then um yeah, Brandon's looking great from Oxygen Gym. He's got um, Abdullah helping him out with his prep and he's like really he's here right now with him. So So my from question a coaching perspective, I think Brandon's got the advantage because he's right here, but Chad's so great as well, and I don't want to say anything bad about Chad. So this is a battle of the coaches, kind of. Yeah, almost, in a way, yeah. Yeah, in a way, you can say <laughs> that for sure. What was that the, was a hype, wasn't it, the whole time? It was. What, what was the lesson you learned last year? Because you did a lot of stuff. Yeah. You did a lot of shows. You learned, you learned like, you were competing a lot. You learned a lot about how your body responds with um, to the water and flying and Amanda Price. hydrating. And I definitely and learned coming into the Olympia, I wasn't as full as I Ms. should be. So then I fixed that up in Barcelona. And then the flight got me doing two more shows within a week. And that was really hard. So then right. now I've got that written down, what I need to do for my next show to come in full and dry. It's all learning, and that's why I encourage anyone to do a lot of shows like you guys did. That's Absolutely. how you guys called in so well. All right, Josh, on the learning curve here in Australia, we're going to find out more with them after the competition weekend is over. But right now, it's day one here in Melbourne. For Josh Narkowitz, I'm Sean Ray, MusculoDevelopment.com.